Good morning, you guys. So it's actually early morning, not super early, just like a little bit after nine, and I'm about to get ready. I thought I was gonna have more time to like talk to you guys and tell you what's going on, so I'm gonna have to talk you through it like as it's happening, but um, I'm getting ready to have lunch with Pinterest. I'm really excited about it, but before lunch, I'm actually going to an event with Pinterest as well. Um, I guess the best way I could describe it is kind of like a keynote for creators. There's gonna be an agency there, and they're gonna like share information on um, how to better connect with brands or attract the attention of brands that you really want to work with. Um, I'm sure they have other tips like, you know, how to grow and how, um, you know, to engage people and things like that. So anyway, I'll tell you guys all about that more, but I'm really excited. I'm getting dressed right now. I don't have a lot of time to get ready. Um, so let me get dressed to my makeup and then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm trying out these new eye patches from Beauty Bio. I just was in line at Ulta and they had them there. And so um, I wanted to use them this morning. I put them in the fridge when I first woke up, but they didn't get that cold. Um, I think they did a fine job though. Anyway, I already have my skincare and everything like that on. Last night, Winston and I stayed up late drinking wine, eating snacks, and catching up on the morning show. And I haven't had time to have coffee or anything like that, but that's fine. And if you guys know any good shows, please let me know because we, don't, we really don't watch that much TV. But when we watch TV, obviously we want to watch something good. We usually like, like to watch movies in our downtime, but there aren't any good shows or good movies. But we were catching up on the morning show last night. Only because there was nothing else to watch because we kind of counted it out. We, we were going to stop watching the morning show because we felt like this season was, it just wasn't doing anything. But I feel like last season, it was um, kind of dull. The first episode was kind of dull as well. I feel like it's kind of dark over here, but I just have this one light, so we're going to make it work. I still haven't set up my vanity like properly yet. Like with my lights and everything because I can't decide what I want to do in my closet. I told you guys before, I think I told you before, that I wanted to change my closet. And I was really about to just get rid of one whole section of the closet. But um, I want to try to make it work before I go ahead and just like jump out the window with that. So I'm going to rearrange it and see how I feel then. But I kind of want to just like make more space for my vanity inside the room. If not, where my vanity is right now, maybe I'll elevate it and have like a floating vanity with a high chair, like a director's kind of chair. I've always wanted to do that too, so we'll see. But I'm kind of over the way my closet is right now. It's just not functioning for me the way I need it to. Finally wearing my cake cardigan. I didn't even show you guys this because I got it at the beginning of the summer. And literally as soon as I got it, like I got it, yeah, pretty much at the beginning of the summer. As soon as I got it, it was too hot to wear it. So I just put it away and I never thought about it again. But it's kind of chilly this morning and chilly this afternoon. It's kind of cloudy and everything. So I feel like this is like perfect. And if I get hot, I have sleeveless on so I could just take that off. I got a couple new fragrances in from Saint Laurent Beauty. This one I really like too, but I just didn't wear this one today. But this one is really, really good. If you follow my Instagram, then you guys saw this one. But this is the one I decided to go with today. This one is called Mom Paris. This smells so freaking good. They both smell really, really good. I love them both. But I don't know, I just really love this one. So I'm going to get the full size, like a bigger size, um, because they sent me like this smaller one. But love them both. I recommend both and I've been wearing them both. Okay, so real quick, let me show you what I'm wearing. I have on this Express Body Contour Top. I have on these Cargos. They're oversized bag, a couple size, a couple sizes up from my size to get this fit. But these are from American Eagle, I think. And then on my feet, I'm wearing my Gucci loafers. So good, perfect for this outfit and the weather and everything. And then the lighting is kind of wonky, so I'll show you guys in better light. But my K cardigan. And I love this outfit. So comfortable, I feel super cute. But I think it's like perfect for like sitting and just having conversation. <laughs> All right, let me call my Uber so I can get out of here. I'll be late. Yeah. Um, the 35? Okay. Good day, Sean. You ready? I, I never thanked you for the coffee yesterday. Thanks. That was so sweet. Like, I like free money. This is so cozy. Yeah. 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 For me, it's Instagram. 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 Yeah. I was on like YouTube. 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 That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> I do mostly a lot of fitness stuff, uh -huh. and, then okay. I, and then I did kind of what the, the girl was saying. I once I established myself there, then I branched out to other stuff. So now I do yeah. my style, yeah. you know, right. fashion. Yeah. So, yeah. Especially when you start reaching out so much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They want to see just other things. Yeah. What about you? What what you do? Fashion content. Yeah, so I started off my YouTube channel just making outfit ideas for work, like corporate girls, those kind of things. And then once I transitioned out of corporate and started doing this full time, I was like... <laughs>
guys, I am back home. The first part of the event was like a speaking kind of engagement where we sat and listened to some people speak. Um, it was like an agency was there, a couple of um, agencies, like an ad agency and a talent agency was there and they kind of like shared basically like what they look for in creators or how you can make yourself, um, I guess, more, how, how you can position yourself to be more appealing to brands, things like that. So they share a lot of like tips and information. That was really cool. And then after that, I went to lunch with the team from Pinterest, which was really cool. It was really nice to be able to connect with them. Everybody was really cool. And then we could ask some questions. It was like six or seven of us with the Pinterest team. And we got to ask some questions about Pinterest. Um, you know, just kind of like get an idea of what works on Pinterest, things like that. And that's really nice because now it seems like more I'm able to connect with like brands and to be able to meet with Pinterest, that was really cool as well, you know? So to be able to meet the people that I'm working with online, I think that's really cool. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> They gave us these cute little fanny packs from Lululemon, which I'm so excited about because I actually had this in my cart, this fanny pack, and then also the one from Aritzia. I was gonna, I was trying to decide which one I was gonna get, but I'm happy that I got this one because I definitely needed a fanny pack for going for walks and things like that. And then it has this cute little Pinterest pulley on it. Can you see that? That's cute. I mean, it's the Lululemon fanny pack. I feel like y'all already know what this looks like. It has a zip on the back. You put things back there. And then it also had this inside. Oh, a Pinterest pen. And then a cute little bucket hat that says Pinterest Creators. So that's cute. I'm really excited about this fanny pack because I had it in my cart already, so it was like perfect. I manifested this. <laughs> I went to a Pinterest event and I'm the most excited about this fanny pack right now. Good morning, you guys. Well, it's actually afternoon, so good afternoon, you guys. I'm headed to Unlocked. It's a creator summit. So I told you guys about the whole weekend with Pinterest, but today is the actual creator summit that is going on with like different speakers. It's gonna be a bunch of creators there. And I really don't know how it works as far as like the general public. I think anybody could purchase a ticket, but Pinterest gave me tickets to go. So that's why that's how I even found out about it, to be honest. So I'm gonna take you guys with me and I love my outfit. Gizmo's barking like crazy. He hears other dogs barking and then he barks. Sometimes he doesn't even get off the couch to go see what they're doing. Like, why are you barking then? <laughs> anyway, we're going to the creator summer right now. Um, like I said, I know they're gonna have some other, some speakers there. It was an all day thing. It's kind of like later in the afternoon now, but it started like, I think nine or 10 o'clock this morning. And then it's like an all day thing. You just like how summits are. I'm sure you guys have an idea about how summits are. I've actually never been to a creator summit. This is gonna be my first one, but I think this is gonna be um, an every year thing that they're gonna start doing. But it is hosted by an agency um, called UTA. And then they're gonna have, I'm sure their talent and like other people, other like prominent figures or other people like that are like trailblazing in the social media space speaking. So anyway, let's go. I love my outfit. I got on these new pearls that I got from Zara. Love these. They're really long. They also have like additional like long graduated lanes. Let me show you. So they come with these additional pearls. Like it's three more in length, like three graduated lengths. <laughs> in addition to these, like these are all connected, but these I can add or take away if I want to. But obviously I have on this collar shirt, so I'm just gonna wear these. But I really like this. And this is my outfit, so cute. So I'm wearing this top from Kos, my faux leather or faux patent leather skirt from Gap. This is so cute, you guys. And then on my feet, I'm wearing my Burberry loafers. I've had these for years and years and years, but I'll try to find something similar. But I think the skirt and, oh, it's kind of dark in here. The skirt and these pearls are still available. It's kind of dark, so I'll get you guys a better, um, like, outfit clips. But anyway, let's go. Thank you. 
you all, hi, everyone. Thank you for spending your Saturday afternoon with us, with me and the mayor of Atlanta. done with the summit you guys now I'm about to take some photos but the summit was really cool um, when I first got there it was kind of like empty like it wasn't filled up especially because it was sold out and I was like what happened but you know how it is with summits that was my first time ever going to any kind of summit but I had to remind myself that you know because it's go it goes on from like 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. I think people float in and out to hear the speakers they want to hear because you have a list of who's gonna be you know on and a, you know a little bit of a, a time frame like they give you an idea of when somebody's gonna be on so then you can float in and out the arena was really cool I think they do boxing in that same arena so um, we actually want to go back and see one of the boxing matches that they have there sometimes I think it might be amateur boxing I'm really not even sure I didn't really know a lot of the moderators that were there I actually only got to see two panels um, when I first got there um, there was a couple of people talking and then I saw I went downstairs and there was another panel with Aaliyah's face she was on one of the panels talking about her journey and then um, I wanted to make sure that I saw the Pinterest panel because that's who invited me. So I went upstairs to the other stage and Pinterest had Tanika B and Kim Kirk. Kim Kirk is this, is the owner of the studio that we went to and they both share their stories, Tanika B's story. You guys, I'm sure follow her. I know a lot of, a lot of you, if not all of you, follow her on Instagram or TikTok. Um, so she was really cool. I got a chance to actually meet her in person, which is really great because I really don't get to meet a lot of the people that I have um, like the, the similar content with people that I have been following for a while. You know, a lot of the New York girlies, I don't get to meet them. So I'm happy that I am. And you guys know I'm starting to spend more time in New York, but that's for another another day. But now we're about to take some photos. Oh, wow. Let me get out of this car. We're about to take some photos now. Let me see 
think they got so I can't the game. So like when I can tell you guys what I want my socials to look like or what kind of things I'm trying to get rid of, mm -hmm. or you just pick out what you think is negative. Yeah, it's like anything. Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So then you can just say now, you know, one word is, you know, accepted in the media. You know, we might be using it as slang. Then later on it's not accepted anymore. People uh -huh. are gonna cancel for using right. that word. But they didn't mean any harm by what they were doing. Uh -huh. You have a custom dictionary where you can type in any kind of word. Say you want to find every post that you said green. Yeah. It can find every single post for you, populated uh -huh. on every platform on our platform. Okay. And basically you can go through and delete every post that you said green. Oh wow. Or if you use somebody's mm -hmm. specific name. Hey you guys, I'm here with Hey Tony TV. Hilarious. Make sure you guys check out his Instagram account. I'm gonna have it linked for you guys to look at it. Yes, you know, we here, we enjoying life with Life Brand. Shout yeah. out to Life Brand for inviting us to this amazing football game. I wasn't a Falcons fan before, but, now, but I think they done converted me over to a Falcons yeah, fan. Me okay, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they got the custom jersey from the name on the back. Like, how can we not be Falcons? Fans? Oh, I didn't even realize that. You didn't know you had yours? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I really enjoyed myself and I'm just really grateful that I'm able to attend, to be invited and attend these events that, you know, I'm getting invited to. I just think it's really cool. And I, it's like the chance to meet like meet other creators and learn new information and you just never know what's going to happen. So I just think that's what's so cool about it. But um, you guys saw I had my lunch with Pinterest. It was really cool to meet them. The team, they were all very welcoming and they, we just had like a chat basically. We talked about travel. We talked about um, you know, of course, Pinterest and content creation, just all those things. So that was a lot of fun. And then I also was able to go to the Creator Summit. Pinterest also invited me there. And then I was invited uh, to a suite. Like, they decked it out for you, girl. I was so impressed, you guys, when I got there. I thought it was just going to be like a cute little, you know what I mean? Like a cute little suite. But it was really, really good. It was like floor level. Like, literally, I could... If there wasn't a barrier, I literally could have walked out onto the field. And actually, I could walk out onto the field, but we got there, like, a little bit late, so I didn't get a chance to go out onto the field. But the suite was literally, like, if I came out of the suite, I could walk onto the field. Like, that's how close it was. It was really cool. That was my first ever football game. I don't know. The bar is set pretty high. The bar is set pretty high. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, do just some, some regular seats at a game ever again. I'm not going to be able to do that. But I was invited by Life Brand, and it's actually a really cool brand, Life Brand. Now, I got a chance to chat with the creative director while I was there. We spoke about Life Brand and you know what they stand for, what they're all about, and I like when I can meet people who actually work at the brands that I'm like learning about or brands that I might work with, because once you meet the people, they really give you some, some real good insight, more, than, more so than what sometimes the website will tell you or you know, what you might hear from other people. So when I get a, get that chance, you know, I ask them questions and I ask questions that I think you guys might want to know about as well. But Life Brand is actually something you guys should consider because after speaking with the creative director, I thought it was a really, really cool 
like concept and idea what they're doing. So basically what Life Brand does is you would commission them to clean up your socials. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard about it, I'm like, well, why do you need to pay somebody to do that? Because you could just go and, you know, delete posts you don't want people to see or, you know, hide or, you know, archive things you just don't want anybody to see. But if you really think about it, like even now in today's climate, so many people, I mean, for many years, not even just now, for many years, you would hear about like old tweets of people resurfacing, you know, like when you were like 18 in college and nobody knew you and you really didn't care what people thought of you, you were tweeting all kind of things, you know what I'm saying? Or saying all kind of things or posting all kind of crazy photos when you were just living life and having fun. But maybe now you're entering into your corporate era or, you know, maybe you are trying to get into being a, you know, a content creator that works with brands and now you don't realize you have all these things you've posted. And once you put something on the internet for real, you guys, it's there. Like, you really can't get rid of it. But what Life Brand does is they go in and they'll flag anything that they deem potentially harmful. And then you can then make the choice whether you want to take it down or keep it up. You know, they'll just like scan everything and let you know what, what, what some things that could, you know, read as negative. So that's really cool. They'll go in and clean up your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your TikTok, all of that. So I thought that was really, really good. And I know a lot of people would want to utilize that. So I'll link um, to the website in the description box so you guys can check it out. But I thought that was really cool. And I had such a good time at the suite. Bobby Brown actually came by the suite. He performed during, um, it wasn't exactly halftime, but he did like a small performance. Um, it was really cool to see the cheerleaders. I don't know why, but I really like seeing like cheerleaders. I was a cheerleader in elementary school, so I don't know if that like has something to do with it. But <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Cool. The food was good. Um, they had drinks. I met some cool people that were also at the suite. I really did not expect to have so much fun at a sport event. So I don't know. I just had a really good time. So definitely check the description box for all the information to Life Brand so you guys can check it out because, like I said, they'll go in and clean up everything and you'll be surprised what they might find. So I got some new stuff in and I thought this would be a good time to show you some of the new stuff I got. Now, first thing, we're going to talk about some skincare. Now, this is so crazy because recently, my eye has swollen up and got super, super puffy, this eye. And I was like starting to freak out like what's going on, but it was just like the bottom half of my eye. Now I think I can pinpoint it to these eye patches that I use. That was the first time I ever used those and I had never tried them again. And I, I, I don't know if they are good or not good. I just know that they didn't react well with me, so I won't be using those again. But finally, I'm like back to normal. There is a little bit of texture under my eye that's like, um, like you could tell it's like healing. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I can like feel it. So anyway, and I was even hesitant to put on makeup today because I was like trying to just let my skin heal. And I got some, I got something to do tomorrow. So I don't want my, my skin to be all crazy. And my eye was like swollen. It was, it was wild. But I have to be like careful about my skincare. But I did really want to try some products from this brand. They reached out to me and wanted to send me some stuff. So I picked, of course, and I'm really excited to try it out. So I'm going to do like patch tests on some with some of the things so that way you know if i react i can tell before i just like slather it all on you know <laughs> but this is from a company called burst and this i think this will be like really nice things to start with because first of all they sent me this press restart gentle retinoid serum and i have been wanting to add retinol into my skincare for some time now um but i want to start off small so i'm gonna try this out i think this would be a good opportunity for me to try it out and if you guys use Verst or have any recommendations from the Verst brand let me know but this is the gentle retinoid that they sent the serum so that's really cool and then I also was really curious to try this. I really wanted to try out this Gentle Retinol Body Lotion because I also want to incorporate... The same things I use in my face, I want to use my body, but obviously that's not economical because some of these little bottles of skincare cost a lot of money. So, you know what I mean? Like, I want to make sure I'm getting, like, good body care things. So I'm hoping this will be a good one to keep in my rotation. This is the Retinol Body Lotion. And I feel like a lot of people have tried this, but let me know if you guys have. And they also sent over this skin soak rich moisture cream this is a you know a nice basic moisturizer i think i don't know how moisturizing is so i'm excited to try it i also got this brightening tightening mask it has turmeric and kaolin clay and i like clay mask and turmeric is a really great ingredient for skincare as well this i also picked out this instant gratification at home derma planning tool because i do derma plane and this is going to come in handy because i could always use more of these and this one comes with um, 
another refill as well. And I was also super excited for this headband. I think this is like the perfect little addition to my skincare routine because I'm obviously I need to hold my hair back while I'm washing my face. But I really like this, but I'll even wear this when I'm doing my makeup. I think it's cute as well. Like it's just a cute headband. And I really love headbands, so I think that's gonna be really nice to have. And then I got a new pot set from Caraway that I am very excited about because it's the cutest pot set that I've literally ever seen. This is how it looks. I haven't taken the plastic over here, but this is how it looks. What's cute about this is that it's a set of minis. Like this is my hand, you guys can see, and this is the pan. Like it's literally the size of my hand. This is the perfect little pot to like fry an egg in, little pan to fry an egg in. And I reach for smaller pots and pans very often, like more so on a daily basis. You guys know, I'm not really the cook, Winston's the cook, but these are perfect for us because sometimes you just wanna fry, fry one egg real quick or heat up something small if you have like some leftovers or if you just wanna, you know, cook, like heat up something small. And then this um, little pan to boil, I could boil a couple eggs in here if I wanted to. And of course this has a lid. And this is about the size of my hand as well. And then it has this cute little storage for it. And mine also came with this cleaning eraser. But honestly, keeping stainless steel pots clean is actually really, really easy. And I've never had an eraser before. And if you guys remember in one of my last vlogs, I showed you that we just also purchased some stainless steel cookware. So we have already been making the switch. So this is actually perfect timing. And adding these minis to our collection, is just it fits right in. So I'm really excited about these. And I'll have a link for you guys if you want to get 10% off site-wide. Even if you want to purchase anything else from Caraway, you can get 10% off. But I do really love these stainless steel minis. I will have the link in the description box. So if you use my link, you'll get 10% off. Now, I have one more thing to show you guys. Now, this is something that I bought with my own money. And I'm excited about this. I'm kind of like excited and not trying to get my hopes up at the same time. So I decided I was going to keep those freaky shop pants, you guys, from that last vlog. Yes, I'm going to keep them. And I'm going to tell you what. Presentation is everything. And because I was just tr trying them on and I didn't style them up and really see how they fit into my wardrobe, it didn't give you guys a good idea of them. You know what I'm saying? So I know some of you say return them. They're not flattering. You don't like them. But I really feel like when you see me style them, you might change your mind. And if you don't, that's fine too. But I do really, really like those. So I'm going to hold on to them. I'm going to hold on to them. I also got an email from Frankie Shop that the Colette blazer was back in stock. So I went ahead and ordered it. And this blazer, this is the hourglass blazer from Frankie Shop. Now, I actually resisted this blazer for a long time because for whatever reason, I just wasn't sold on the cut of the arms because the arms are not like tape. They're not like slim. They're a little bit wider. And I kind of was like, I don't know. It's not my perfect hourglass blazer. But I'm like, you know, actually just give it a try because even though more of a fitted silhouette in terms of blazers are on trend right now, I'm not having a lot of luck finding what I'm looking for. So I was like, you know, what? let me just try it. The only thing about this blazer is it's dual sizing. So it comes extra small, small, and then medium slash large. So I don't want to have high hopes for it again because I don't know how it's going to fit. But a lot of the items on Freaky Shop are oversized, so they're worth trying at least. So let's see how this works, how this fits. But this is what it looks like in the package. They do pack things nice and neat when I order from Freaky Shop. It was like the perfect size box. Okay, we'll see. Let me try it on right now. And it goes in and out of stock all the time. And it was out of stock for a while before I finally got an email. Um, it also comes in a tan, like a beige color. And if this one works out, I'll consider getting the other color as well. But let me see. Okay, so here it is. Now, I see why, now that I'm trying, I see why people love it so much. Because it's actually a really nice blazer. Like, the fit is really nice. The cut is really nice. But, like I said, it's dual sizing. There's only two sizes. And this is the medium large. So I think I'm gonna have to end up returning it. I'm actually really thinking if I should take it to the tailor and see if there's anything it could do because I do really like the blazer a lot. Like I really, really like it. I'm actually impressed and I like I like it way more than I thought that I would. It's so cute. Oh, and it really does have a really nice hourglass shape. I love how defined and like dramatic it is, and that's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna keep an eye out, but I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if the tailor could do something about this because obviously if they open the seam and add more fabric or do something to it. It might take away from the hourglass shape, so I don't know. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. Anyway, that's it for me, you guys. That's everything that I got recently, and I do have some more packages coming in, so of course I'll share that with you guys. But that's it. If you made it this far in the vlog and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you in the next one.